Hello everybody, this is part two of the Q&A because I got a lot of questions, so this is a part two. Anyways, I don't really feel like doing any further introductions or anything, so I'm just gonna go into the questions because I feel like it. Oh, it's you again. If you don't know, they were in the last Q&A, um... What's your favorite video game? What were other hairstyles did you have in mind for your channel's mascot slash persona? Wow, I struggled reading that. Okay. Have you thought about expanding your art gallery and stuff to other websites? Pancakes or waffles? Um, waffles, because yes. Okay, but all seriousness, um, so favorite game? Uh I'm not really a gamer person, so I don't think I have a favorite game, but I have these two games that are like my go-to games, so it's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Even though we have Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I still haven't played that yet. Um, and I also play Animal Crossing, so yeah, but I kind of get bored of playing that occasionally because I just draw too much and don't have time for anything else. Well, actually, I do have time for other things, I just... I don't want to talk about it. And for the second question with uh, Pink Ink's hairstyles, um, she's always had, like, pigtails. This was literally the first drawing of Pink Ink ever. Well, actually, no, that was a lie. This was the first drawing, but this was, like, a year before I actually started my, like, channel. And for the last question, I used to post on Instagram, but I don't really post there anymore. And currently, I don't think I will make another channel or anything else i think i'll just stay on youtube for now i don't really think i'll move on to any other places um unless like there's a reason but currently no i think i'm just gonna stay on youtube for now b underscore arf uh okay their question is how old were you when you became serious about art i want to say 11 but that's like when i started like hardcore drawing and like making characters and stories so i want to say 11 Alyssa Lob 5033. I hope I said that correctly. Like I said in the first video, um, sorry if I butcher any of your guys' names. Anyways, their question is, what is one of your favorite childhood memories? What movie makes you cry? Makes or made? Do you like abstract art? Hmm, I don't know about favorite childhood memory, but this is a childhood memory. I'm still technically in my childhood, though. Mm. But I remember um, I woke up in the morning and I went to hide from my mom because I didn't want to go to kindergarten. I'm like, no. So when I was younger in my room, I had like this little like crate thingy where all my toys were in. And I just crawled into there and hid from my mom. And she went looking for me and I literally saw her, but she didn't see me because I was inside the toys. I'm like, dang, this is the best disguise ever. But after a while, I kind of felt bad because I kind of like felt like she was getting frustrated. She's like, come out, Nyla. Like, we need to go. If you didn't know my name, like my real name's Nyla. <laughs> so yeah, basically I hid from my mom inside some toys because I didn't want to go to kindergarten. Wait, was it kindergarten? Or no, it wasn't kindergarten. It was pre-K. Pre-K? I can English. I don't really like cry when I watch movies or TV shows, but I am embarrassed to say when I watched the second to last episode of Steven Universe, um, no, actually Steven Universe Future, I did cry a little bit. <laughs> I don't like crying because I feel like it's kind of silly, um, in my opinion. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't like crying. And do I like abstract art? I feel like it depends on what, like, what painting it is but yeah i guess it's fine like i don't really think about that i i'm just like okay <laughs> but yeah abstract art is fine I, I don't like love it with passion but i don't dislike it so yeah it's fine content controller 3530's question is not really sure why i said it like that um can we see your oldest art ever i don't know about oldest art ever because i don't know if i have it but i can show you a drawing that i drew in first grade this was from my first grade, um, school, because I used to go to school. Um, I like my singing monsters, I like my singing- Why did I write that twice? If you don't know, my singing monsters is a game, and apparently I played it. Oh, yeah, that's a hot glue gun. Ignore that. But yeah, these are just a few of, uh, the pages in the book. And I used to just draw, like, not draw, drew what happened to me. And apparently this page was stuck. Um, I don't really remember what happened to this book, but I guess it got wet. I don't really know. Why are you here? If you don't know, this is my dad and he was in the last video. I have a question. When is Amy's adventures to the unknown going to be completed? Would it be this year? Asking for a friend. You liar! Okay, I have a feeling most of you guys don't really know what Amy's adventures into the unknown is. Basically, it's the first story I've ever created. Okay, that's a little bit of a lie, but basically the first story I actually liked. And I turned it into like a little animated episode. There's a playlist here on my channel. And I remember I made a video saying that I'm going to take a break. Break meaning that I will come back to it. 
I do not want to go back to that. Basically, the animation process was very repetitive, and I was the only one animating it slash coloring it. And basically, every time I think about it, I get upset. So, yeah. Hi, 25876. Your question is, who inspired you to draw? I think most of us now know it was the show Steven Universe, but I did draw before then, so was there someone else who did inspire me? The only thing I could really think of is like a couple of those how to draw channels. Like, I think their name was Draw So Cute or something. And then also, I remember there was a friend that used to draw, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to draw like you, or something like that. Basically, they were better at than me. And now I'm like, I'm kind of better than them. <laughs> it's a little secret between you and me though, so don't tell anybody. IH or LH, I don't know, 2919. Their question is, what's the story behind your OC? All from headcanon and actual creative process. So I asked them which OC and they were talking about my character Pink Ink. So I think I might make like a whole separate video for that. I don't know, don't hold me to it. But the to sum up the uh, question. <laughs> question i can speak basically at the time of me making her i just made her like i drew her as everything i loved drawing at the time so basically she's a ripoff of spinel <laughs> veronica oh hey veronica basically veronica is a fellow youtuber here and uh you should go check her out because she's almost at 300 subscribers so go help her out with that well at least at the time of this she's almost at 300 i don't know if it's changed or not anyways what do you plan to do in the future with your drawing and animating skills is there a job or a career path you want to take other than something related to art i really struggled reading that okay that is an actually really good question so i have a plan for my art one day i want to be able to make like a little indie animation thing basically be my own boss in the sense um and i just want to make some of my stories into like a little animated cartoon show i feel like that's the dream for a good amount of artists but basically i just want to make my characters become alive in the sense and make them voice acted and they can move and stuff and that'd be so great i have previously tried with amy's adventure into the unknown but it is so flipping hard doing it all by yourself so i hope one day in the future um i will be a good boss and probably hire some other people to help me animate and also voice act and that'd be so cool but also i have to think realistically like how would i do that so just for now i'm trying to get as good as i can with art and animating and trying to figure out not figure out but like learn all the principles of animation so basically i'll learn all that now so i don't have to learn it when i get in it like get an adult become an adult so i can just like basically get a job somewhere else at animating so i can know how it's like so i can branch off and do my own thing but that's a long ways away i'm only 14 now and i'm just trying to improve as much as i can Rocky Ray Rockstar? Is that your username? <laughs> Their question is, what editing apps do you use and how do you make your characters? So for editing, I just use CapCut. <laughs> I used to use iMovie, like that app that's on the, the Apple devices i don't know and for how i make my characters i usually just get a pencil and draw no i'm just kidding <laughs> well i do technically do that but i don't think that's what you meant usually i either get an idea like sometimes i'm just doing something and i'm like oh it'd be cool if there's a character that had multiple arms or something or sometimes i just like imagine like a character like in my head i imagine a character like the character design you know sometimes i have a story that it needs a character like for example i have this story called the tale of jesse and there's a character in the story that has a sister but i haven't designed the sister yet um so i need to do that but basically like i have characters that have a reason for existing i actually have a whole video on like making characters so if you need help uh maybe you can watch that video isabella fernandez is that how it's pronounced i've never said your last name before 6722 am i epic answer truthfully i don't know about epic but you're pretty great richard t flores 6814 i don't know which one of your ocs is your favorite okay there's two top tier characters that i have so those two characters are sylvester and chester and they both have er at the end of their names which is kind of funny but chester beats sylvester mostly because i've had him longer and he has more messed up stuff in his story <laughs> and that question also leads on to the last and final question dj thennard i've never read your username out loud before oh and by the way they have their own youtube channel as well you know gotta support those small creators wait i am also a small creator what am i talking about basically go check them out and show them to love anyways to the actual question now what's your most tragic oc backstory 
Oh my gosh, that's hard. Oh, really quick, this is really unrelated to the question. But I remember one person a long time ago asked me what OC means. And I said it meant original character. So I just want you guys to know if you have a question and you feel like it's a dumb question, it is not a dumb question. Just ask me. Anyway, so when I saw that question, I was thinking long and hard. I'm like, oh, I have a lot of characters with like trauma and stuff. But basically, I summed it down to chester and sylvester <laughs> so i feel like which one has the most tragic backstory probably sylvester but if you're talking throughout the whole story like trauma throughout his whole life it's definitely chester 100 <laughs> percent. because sylvester i feel like he's kind of crazy or at least everybody else thinks he's crazy he thinks he's fine but it's mostly stuff that happened in his past that made him that way so i feel like currently in the story he's just living the life so probably sylvester but with chester i feel like not too much happened in his past other than he didn't really grow up with his dad but that didn't really affect him he's like eh, i have my mom <laughs> but a lot more of his trauma happened during the story so yeah sorry i'm being very vague with their stories i, I just don't really want to say yet because i have seven stories and out of those seven there's three that i work on and think about the most and sylvester and chester are in one of those three so they're kind of my babies what i meant is that chester is in a different story and sylvester is also in a different story not they're not both in the same story um <laughs> but yeah that was it just gonna have some honorable mentions up on the screen because i kind of felt bad because some of them i didn't really answer just because i already answered the question and also just some other people that commented on the video so Oh, yeah, I think I feel too much sympathy sometimes but some of my other friends would say I have no sympathy at all Anyways, that was the end of this Q&A and I hope you come back next week because I think I'm gonna be doing a sketchbook tour So yeah, bye towards the end of the video I kind of got lazy and just stopped putting my character pinking because I'm like I'm done editing I want to finish this video already because these videos aren't just a simple time-lapse and just me talking about random stuff It's I have to edit my character pinking talking and then the questions in and it's, yeah, it's annoying I feel like it's funny that at the end I was like showing you guys how I animated this little end card thing.